Do you wonder what will be the future of our universe? What would it be like in the next 10,000 years or uh, 100,000 years or maybe 1 million years? What about 1 billion years? Or let's take it to 100 billion years. Whoa. The universe constantly wants to kill us. No one knows but theoretical physics does give us the power to predict. We can trace the trajectories of asteroids and predict when they shall reach the Earth. We can calculate the time when a massive star will end itself in a big explosion. We can also predict the final state of the universe by calculating its critical energy density. So let's start our prediction meter and chalk out a future timeline of our cosmos. Fasten your seat belts as we are going for a time travel trip to the future. My name is Siddharth and you are watching The World of Science. There have been many extinction events throughout the past, such as the Great Oxygenation event or the Jurassic Era extinction. Currently, we are going through one of the largest extinction events on the planet called Holocene extinction with large-scale loss of different species, mostly due to human intervention. As per various reports, about 10% of species have been completely extinct by the end of 2007 and this number will reach approximately 30% in the next 100 years. The emission of large amounts of carbon dioxide has increased its level by 50%. This biocrisis will lead to a grand-scale extinction event with the loss of all biodiversity. The future is gloomy according to this perspective. Along with that, there is always a constant fear of nuclear holocaust, nuclear winter, genetically engineered pandemic, asteroid impact and a... alien attack? Well, why not? Oh no, 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 no. Buzz look an alien! Where? Now let's think about what will happen on the cosmic scale. In around 13,000 years, our planet will go through a cycle of precession. Earth's axis rotates at a tilt of 23.5 degrees and with a cycle of 26,000 years, the poles of Earth interchange with each other. After 13,000 years, the poles will shift their position again causing summer and winter to occur in the opposite hemispheres in their respective seasons. In 17,000 years, there is a prediction of the occurrence of a large-scale volcanic eruption that will spew out 1,000 gigatons of materials and can extinct the majority of the population. In 36,000 years, a dwarf star named Ross 248 will pass within three light years of Earth, becoming the Sun's nearest neighbor and overtaking the current nearest star, Alpha Centauri. Any future spacecraft that escaped the solar system with a velocity of 25.4 km per second would reach this star 37,000 years from now when the star just passes its nearest approach. In 50,000 years, Earth will again enter the glacial period. Global warming may push the date for a few thousand years, but the glacial age is inevitable and all the major portions of the northern and southern hemispheres will be covered in snow. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> in 100,000 years, the hypergiant VY Canis Majoris will explode in a giant hypernova. A hypernova? Think of a supernova but with a lot more energy. This will be one of the biggest events in space. The explosion could be associated with gamma ray bursts and it will produce a shock wave of a speed of thousands of kilometers per second that could hit the surrounding envelope of material causing strong emissions for many years after the explosion. For a star so large, the remnant would be probably a black hole rather than a neutron star. In 500,000 years, an asteroid of roughly 1 km diameter will likely hit the Earth with large-scale devastation in the continent in which it will collide. Of the approximately 1,000 near-Earth asteroids larger than 1 km in diameter, one strikes the Earth on average once every 500,000 years, according to MIT researchers. Alright, so 1 million years from now, one of the biggest events will happen in our universe. The red giant star 
Alpha Orionis Betelgeuse in the upper arm of the Orion constellation will finally explode into a supernova and for a few months it will be one of the brightest stars in our sky. And guess what? The explosion would be easily visible even during the daytime. 10 million years from now, Africa will split into two parts due to the widening of East Africa's Rift Valley. The valley will be filled with the Red Sea and a new ocean will emerge between Africa and the newly formed continent. For now, the most obvious evidence is a 35-mile long crack in the Ethiopian desert. We're really hoping you're aware of it. In 50 million years, the splitting of Africa will push the Arabian plate into the Eurasian plate, uplifting the seabed and a similar process like that of the formation of the Himalayas will happen at the site of the collision, giving rise to new continents and mountain ranges. In 100 million years, Earth will be hit by a super asteroid similar in size to the asteroid that caused the extinction of dinosaurs around 66 million years ago. In 300 million years, all the continents of the world will be fused again to form a supercontinent like Pangaea. In around 500 million years, a gamma ray burst will happen due to a hypernova within 6500 light years from Earth. Gamma ray bursts can deplete the ozone layer, allowing harmful UV radiation to reach the ground and will likely cause mass extinction. What's more surprising is that just a 10 second burst can cause years of devastating ozone damage. Now let me take a short break from these mind-blowing concepts to tell you about Rocketeers. Rocketeers make high-quality, affordable and solid-fuel-powered model rocket kits that even you can launch at your place up to the height of 800 feet. They are the first and only startup who are working on model rocketry in India with solid fuel power. While doing all of this, they've engaged more than 250,000 students and flown more than 150,000 rockets so far. They have also partnered with ISRO and created awesome merchandise to raise awareness about the works of ISRO. You can order these rocket kits and ISRO merchandise from their website rocketeers.in. Use our coupon code RWOS for an exclusive 15% off on all products. Link is in the description below. Now let's get back to our topic. Time to switch gears and talk in bigger numbers. In 1.5 billion years, the luminosity of sun would have increased so much that the habitable zone will move outward. Now, the increase in the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of Mars will cause its temperature to reach the level of Earth and there will be a possibility that Mars will become naturally habitable again. In 2 billion years, the solar luminosity will be 15% higher causing the atmosphere to become a moist greenhouse. As a result, all the water in the Earth's ocean will evaporate. This would cause plate tectonics to stop completely if not already stopped before this time. Pockets of water may still be present at the poles allowing abodes for a simple life. 3 billion years from now the Earth's core freezes if the inner core continues to grow in size based on its current growth rate of 1 mm in diameter per year. Without its liquid outer core, Earth's magnetosphere shuts down and solar winds gradually deplete the atmosphere. Scientists have predicted that there will be a 1 in 100,000 chance that Earth will be ejected into interstellar space by a stellar encounter before this point and a 1 in 3 billion chance that it will be both ejected into space and captured by another star around this point. If this were to happen, any remaining life on Earth could potentially survive for far longer if it survived the interstellar journey. Four billion years from now, there is roughly a 1% chance that Jupiter's gravity may make Mercury's orbit so eccentric as to collide with Venus around this time, sending the inner solar system into total chaos. Other possible scenarios include Mercury colliding with the Sun, being ejected from the solar system or colliding with Earth. Also, by that time, Andromeda Galaxy will collide with our Milky Way Galaxy and will form a super galaxy known as Milkomeda. 
The planets of our solar system will almost certainly not be disturbed by this event. In 5.4 billion years, Sun will reach its giant red phase and will completely devour the inner planets. Earth will either become a hot ball or be completely disintegrated. The Sun also may experience a helium flash, resulting in its core becoming as bright as the combined luminosity of all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. 7.5 billion years from now, if Earth would have survived so far, it would finally be destroyed by falling into the Sun along with its moon. During this era, Saturn's moon Titan may reach surface temperatures suitable to support life. In 22 billion years, if the condition of the Big Rip theory is possible, then this will be the approximate time for the universe to completely disintegrate. Three months before the Big Rip, star systems will become gravitationally unbound and planets will fly off into the rapidly expanding universe. 30 minutes before the Big Rip, planets, stars, asteroids and even extreme objects like neutron star and black holes will evaporate into atoms. 100 zeptoseconds, that is 10 raised to the minus 19th power seconds before the big rip, atoms would break apart. Ultimately, once the rip reaches the Planck scale, cosmic strings would be disintegrated as well as the fabric of space-time itself. The universe would enter into a rip singularity when all non-zero distances become infinitely large, whereas a crunch singularity involves all matter being infinitely concentrated. In a rip singularity, all matter is infinitely spread out. In 100 billion years, the universe's expansion will cause all galaxies beyond the former Milky Way's local group to disappear beyond the cosmic light horizon, removing them from the observable universe. Uh, let's not go any further, as beyond this timestamp would be a total chaos. All these timestamps are predictions based on the current model of the universe. The future of the universe depends upon various factors. If the density of the universe reaches a critical value, then the universe will begin to collapse and thus there will be no disintegration like Big Rip. There are billions of stars and their pathways can differ at any moment. It is not possible to be accurate for every star and its future courses. But overall, these predictions are our superpower. If science is right, these events will likely happen. So, did you enjoy this trip to the far future? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video interesting, please leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want us to keep creating such content, could you please show your support using the super thanks option below? Even the smallest contribution you can make will go a long way. It's supporters like you that help us make science more fun and easy than it has ever been. Thank you so much. Also, don't forget to check out Rocketeers.in to get your own model rockets to launch. These rockets can be reused a dozen times. So learn, build and fly. Make sure you subscribe to the world of science. Until next time, stay scientific.